Hello, this video will give you a brief demonstration on how to manage users inside of the OnePack system. To start, open an internet browser and go to web.onepacks.com. Enter your username and password and click the login button to log into the system. Click on the admin menu followed by the users menu to open the user management screens. A list of users that you can manage will be shown. We recommend that new users request an account that you may then approve. To start this process, click on the down arrow by the add button. Click on the generate account invite URL to show a link that you can copy and paste and send to another user to request an account. Click the close button to return to the user list. You can also select the option to invite a new user from email. This will include the account request link inside of the message. Add the new user's email address to the to section and if necessary add your own email address to the BCC section to blind copy yourself. Edit the subject and message sections and click the send button to send an email from the OnePack system. When the user receives and clicks on the link, it'll open up a form where they can request a new account. Fill out the required information and click on the Request Account button. After the user completes the form, you'll see a new account request on the user management page. Click on the tab to open up the account requests. Select a user and use the Approve or Delete buttons to either approve or deny a user request. When you click Approve, a new form will be populated with the information that the user provided. Verify the information provided and select a user type. The Facility Privileges section controls what facilities the user can see. Make sure that View is selected for any facilities that the user should have access to. You can use the checkboxes on the left to select multiple facilities and the View and None buttons to quickly assign multiple facilities to the user. Use the Permission Set selection to quickly assign permissions to this user. You can select an individual permission and use the arrows to fine-tune the selection for the user. Click on the Access tab to restrict this user from seeing studies beyond just the facility. Select the Use Custom Filter and then edit the filter according to what you need. For example, we might restrict a referring physician account to only be able to see studies that they refer. Click the Done button when your filter is complete. Review all of your settings and click the Save button to create the new user. You can add a new user without using the account request form by clicking on the Add button. Fill in the required information and click the Save button to create the new user. When using this method, a temporary password will be emailed to the user. This temporary password will need to be changed after first login. You can use the toolbar to edit a user, log in as a user, or to change a user password. You can select a user and use the buttons at the bottom to also manage users. Use the delete button to delete a user. Some users cannot be deleted, and thus should be deactivated instead. Deactivated users will no longer be able to log in to the system. You can use the area at the top of the screen to filter for a user. For example, to filter for a particular user, enter in the username and the list will be filtered for that user. You can click on the down arrow to select different filter options. You could select the Show Deactivated checkbox in order to show deactivated users in the list. Sorting is also available by clicking on the column header. More help on user management is available under the Help menu. 
Click the Online Documentation option and find the Managing Users section of the Help Documentation. Additional help and contact information may also be available under the Info link at the top right corner of the screen. We recommend that each user has their own user ID as some medical privacy regulation boards such as HIPAA in the U.S. require individual accounts. This concludes this brief tutorial on user management. More help and documentation is given at the listed website.